Have you ever wondered, can monkeys really drink alcohol? An odd question, isn't it? But it's one that science has taken quite seriously. Across the globe, researchers have embarked on fascinating studies to explore this rather curious behavior of our primate cousins. From the dense rainforests of Africa to the bustling city streets of Asia, there is evidence of monkeys and apes partaking in a spot of tippling. So let's unravel this intriguing question together. Dive into the world of primates, their habits and their surprising connection with alcohol. Let's start by looking at some of the studies conducted on the matter. There's a fascinating one from the University of Kyoto. Scientists there offered a group of chimpanzees a choice between small amounts of diluted alcohol and water. The chimps, it seems, preferred the alcohol, even going as far as to consume it until they showed signs of inebriation. But it's not just in laboratories where we see this behavior. Take, for instance, the vervet monkeys of a Caribbean island. These monkeys have become notorious for stealing cocktails from unsuspecting tourists. In fact, they've developed such a taste for alcohol that they will even go through the trouble of opening bottles to get to the sweet fermented delights inside. So what do these findings imply? Well, it suggests that primates have a natural inclination towards alcohol, possibly due to its caloric value. You see, in the wild, ripe fruits often ferment, producing alcohol. This means that our primate cousins, much like us, may have evolved to seek out these fermented fruits as a source of nutrition. But it also raises questions about our own relationship with alcohol. Could it be that our love for a good glass of wine or a cool beer has its roots in our primate past? Seems like our furry friends do have a taste for the fermented delights. But how do these creatures react to alcohol and what does it mean for them? Let's dive right in. When monkeys consume alcohol, they exhibit changes in behavior that are strikingly similar to those seen in humans. Some monkeys become more social and playful, while others turn aggressive or reclusive. The levels of these behavioral changes often correlate with the amount of alcohol consumed, much like in people. But what's really fascinating is the variety of responses. Just as in human populations, there are teetotalers who avoid alcohol altogether, moderate drinkers and heavy drinkers. In fact, about one in five monkeys are known to consume alcohol to the point of intoxication, reflecting patterns of addictive behavior. What does this mean for our understanding of human alcohol consumption and addiction? Well, these findings suggest that the propensity for alcohol consumption and the susceptibility to addiction may be more hardwired in our biology than we previously thought. It also implies that the roots of addiction might be found in our evolutionary past, which opens up fascinating new avenues for research. Moreover, the similarities between monkeys and humans in their responses to alcohol could be invaluable in the development of new treatments for alcohol addiction. By studying the biological mechanisms at play in these monkeys, scientists can gain insights that could potentially be translated into effective treatments for humans. So it's not just us humans who might need to watch our intake. So what have we learned from this fascinating exploration? We've embarked on quite the journey, uncovering the curious case of our tippling primates. We've discovered that just like humans, some monkeys do indeed have a penchant for alcohol. This intriguing relationship is not just a random occurrence, but a result of their natural environment and evolutionary adaptations. Our exploration took us through the science behind this claim. We found studies that showed how certain monkeys in the Caribbean have developed a taste for alcohol by consuming fermented fruits. This behavior is a testament to the adaptability of these creatures, as they've learned to enjoy the effects of these naturally occurring intoxicants. We also delved into the behavior and implications of these findings. We saw how, just like in human societies, there are teetotalers, casual drinkers, and heavy drinkers among monkeys. These drinking habits have social implications within the monkey communities, influencing their hierarchy and interactions. Moreover, we discussed the potential implications these findings could have on our understanding of human alcohol consumption and addiction. The parallels we see in monkey behavior might shed some light on the genetic and environmental factors that influence our own relationship with alcohol. So there you have it. Our exploration into the boozy tale of monkeys has revealed some truly fascinating insights. Now isn't that something to ponder? Next time you see a monkey, you might just wonder if it's eyeing your beer.